So I'm just tidying up after the wheat. Just finished taking it off with the pickup head, the last of it. Some spots were pretty poor, some spots were really good. In general, I'm really happy with um, how things are shaping up. So, I uh, thought I'd show the inside of the bin. This is a bucket here that had some of the leaks from that gravity box. But this is pretty representative of the sample I was taking. It's really clean. They're nice big kernels. I don't know the test weight, but I have a good feeling about it. Um, then uh, in here, we've got a grain spinner, electric grain spinner up in the top, which spreads the grain in kind of a... Uh, a little bit of a volcano shape, so there's a cone in the center. You can see that. I um, size this bin primarily for corn, the big uh, the capacity. So obviously we're nowhere near, we're 25%, 20% of this bin. But I really need the air. You can hear the hum in the background, and I have a uh, big motor that powers an underfloor fan that I can vary the speed on the motor and adjust the amount of flow that goes over this grain to dry it down over the next two weeks and take some of that, uh, they call it a sweat, off. I don't know if my so called audience or the people watching this, let's say, are farmers or know about it, but got to keep the grain and, and get it in uh, good condition. Uh, grown food grade in the past. I'm hoping that's the case here. You see that uh, silver cable? Not my finger, but oh, focus. I lost my focus. There's a silver cable back there. That's a uh, temperature sensor. There's three of them hanging down from the the roof and you see all the vents up top so the idea is the fan blows the moisture through the grain and it goes out the top. I can monitor the moisture with those remote cables. There's a, a sensing unit outside the unit. So I'm uh, like I said really happy with this. It'll sit in here for a couple weeks. I'll set some tests off, some samples off to be tested to see what my numbers are as far as the food grade. And then we're on to selling it. I think I've decided this year to help with my weeds. I'm going to introduce, I'll put clover back in here. As, and I've got a neighbor who will mow it off for hay next year. And that way, I can, I had my weeds, I had my weeds under control. But this cycle with the beans just, they, they get out of control. And then they affect subsequent years. So this is a year after the beans and I think I mentioned before in one of the videos wherever I had a good stand of beans I had a, a good stand of wheat this year but wherever I didn't and the pigweed grew a lot last year I just ended up with a lot of pigweed. I will say um, my sample I'm really happy with how that pickup had performed and it's got me looking in that direction with um, trying to swath, if weather permitting, all my small grains. Um, it just makes a lot better sample, a lot better in, in the combine. So, so yeah, there's my big fan, 30, house power, 30 horsepower motor, three phase runoff of VFD, single phase. Kind of rambled on long enough with this. One of these days I'll walk to the top and show the view of the whole thing, but I haven't figured out how to uh, edit my videos so I can so I can do that. Okay, well, thanks for watching this, and uh, hope to see you in the next one. Bye.